Hey boys and girls, and welcome back to God's Virtual School, where we just love talking about God's Word. And we are excited today because we're going to continue to talk about Abram. Well, his name, that's right, his name is A-B-R-A-M. It hadn't been changed to Abraham, but sometimes we get mixed up. So if you hear it say Abram and Abraham, it's the same person. Okay, Brother Henry, open us up with a word of prayer, please. Father God, thank you so very much for blessing us with this wonderful time to be able to create videos for you. In the name of Jesus, amen. Okay, we have some boys and girls that we have to say hi to. All right, we want to say hi to? Yes, it's exciting to look at Abraham and, well, Abram in Genesis, the 12th chapter. So let's go there and we'll tell the story of a wonderful man named Abraham. So in the 12th chapter of Genesis, now uh, the Lord said to Abram, get out of your country or your family and from your father's house to the land that I will show you and I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and I will make your name great and you shall be a blessing. Well, pretty hearing, God just spoke to Abraham and just told him, hey, you gotta get out of here from your father's house and go to another country. God is directing. God, God just loves people and he's been moving ever since the very beginning. He created everything and he's gonna keep on moving and we're just thankful that we could be a part of that. Amen, brother Eric? Amen and praise the Lord, Joe. You are absolutely correct. Oh, glory goes to God, brother Eric. All right, let's continue to read. I will bless those who bless you. I will curse those who will curse you. And in you, all the families on earth shall be blessed. So Abraham departed as the Lord had spoken to him. And Lot went with him. And Lot was about 75 years old when he departed from Haran, H-A-R-A-N. Then Abraham took Sarah, his wife, and Lot, his brother's son, and all their possession that they had, and they took off, and they departed to go to the land of Canaan. See where Canaan is on the map? D-A-N-A-A-N. That is very, very important, because in the land of Canaan, there is where the Canaanites were in that land. Then the Lord appeared to Abraham and said, to your descendants, I will give you this land. And there Abram built an altar to the Lord who had appeared to him. Now, there was a famine in the land. What's that, Brother Harry? Can I tell him I know? A famine, Brother Harry, is a, there's a scarcity of food. There's hardly no food in the land. So now they're going to have to leave and they're going to have to, to go to Egypt. See what Egypt is on the map? Yes, and so there was a severe famine in the land. And Abram went down to Egypt and he, he dwelt there. Uh, and it came to pass that when he came close, he, he, uh, he said something. Brother Harry, you tell him. Well, what Abram did, he told Pharaoh and his people, he says, oh, this is my sister. And he wasn't being completely honest with him. He was afraid because she was very beautiful and Abram thought that they would kill him and take her. So he said, oh, this is my sister. That's not good, Brother Henry. That's not good because bad things happened to um, Pharaoh when they, when, they, when they did that. So yes, that is what happened. They were very upset with Abram because if something would have happened to Sarah, his wife, God would have punished all the people in the land. So when he found out, he just told Abram he had to leave with all of his possessions. And then what happened is they get to a nice place and they start fighting. You know who started fighting? Brilliant, yes, I know his nephew, Lot. And, and not really Lot, but his herdsmen, those who were taking care of the cattle. That's correct, Joe. Abram's herdsmen 
and Lot's herdsmen were fighting and they were not happy with one another because they kept running into one another inside of the land saying, this is where I'm feeding my sheep. This is where I'm feeding my cattle. And they say, no, I was here first. But then what happened was that Abram said, now, 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 wait, we're family. We're family, Lot. We've traveled all the way from Haran. And now we've been to Egypt. And now here we are. We have all of this land. What is this? What is this? We're family. What is land to us? Pick, pick, pick which place you want to go. You go to the left, I go to the right. I go to the right, you go to the left. Okay, so you pick. And so what happened was that Lot picked a place towards Sodom. To Sodom. Oh, but he remember that, that story. That was a bad place. He didn't make a good choice, did he, Buddy Harry? No, he didn't make a good choice. But in life, we don't always make good choices, but we're so thankful that we have a loving God even after we make bad choices that God will help us when we seek him. And also you're going to find out that Abram helped his nephew out. He came to rescue him with, you know how many men? Mm -hmm. No, I don't, Peter, here, give me some, give me a multiple choice. Okay, we can go 300, A, 310, B, 318, C. Which one are you gonna pick? But here, you can pick the last one, 318. You have answered correctly, Joe, yay! Praise the Lord, but hear it. Okay, boys and girls, you remember that. And next time, we'll pick up right where we left off. We love you guys, but remember, God loves you more. Bye-bye, guys. We'll see you later.